Hey, this is a tutorial video to show you how to use GarageBand to record your chord progression project. Before you begin recording, you're going to want to make sure that you have your screen set up just like this. This is what a blank project will look like. Before you click the red record button, you're going to want to make sure that you highlight a few things. The first thing you're going to want to make sure is highlighted are the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 that are located on the top of your screen. Look at my cursor. That's the button I'm talking about. Then you're going to want to make sure that the metronome to the right of it is also highlighted. That's right here. So you click that and it'll change colors. Now I'm ready to move to the next step. The next step is changing the beats per minute or the tempo of the piece. Right now 120 is a pretty fast tempo. You're going to want to move it to something lower. The lower the number, the slower the speed. So in the middle screen, you're going to see the number 120. And if you put your cursor over it, it says tempo. You're going to double click that and change that tempo to something much slower. I'd start with maybe 70 or even slower. I'll go with 70. Press enter. Now you've reset your tempo. This is going to be a much more manageable tempo for you to perform it at. Now you're set up and ready to go. So now you're going to find the red record button. That's in the top as well. Once you're going to go, you're going to click that, and it's going to give you four counts to get yourself ready. So click that, find your first chord, and get ready, and watch the screen at the top. It's going to count down or count up, one, two, three, four. After that, it's going to go live, and it's going to start recording. So you click that, and then you're ready to begin. So check it out. Two, pre-counts, and one, two, three, four. Next chord. Listen for those counts. After you play your four chords, you're going to click stop. That's going to stop the recording. You can always go back and check it out. Let's listen to it. This button here is the go back to the beginning button. Click that. Triangle is play. While you're listening to it, ask yourself the questions. Is it line up with the metronome? Are you playing with good tempo? Are you playing the right notes? Are you playing the chord progression as you have written it? If the answer is yes, Great, you're ready to move on to the next step. The next step would be adding other tracks. Check out the next video for that. 